guys. So, oh, you're falling. Okay. So, today I wanted to talk about piercing and piercing aftercare. Because I got my tragus pierced, like, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two. And, um, I was looking online before I got it pierced. You're still falling. Stop. Okay. I was looking online before I got it pierced, and I watched a lot of videos on YouTube, and I read a lot of stuff online. Um, and I, it took me a while to really decide. Like, I basically, I basically knew I was going to get this piercing. Oh, no. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I knew I wanted this piercing. I just looked up oddly. Um... I knew I wanted this piercing. Uh, I've wanted it since sophomore year in high school, and I'm a senior now, so I've had time to think about it. And, um, basically, uh, I just did my research so I knew what to expect, and I forgot to clean it for two days, which was dumb, and it got really, really, really irritated, and it was, like, mad at me. Is that it? Yeah, so there it is. It's just a little librette in there, and it's just there on my cartilage. I wish she had done it in more. Like, that's one thing. Like, if you want to do home piercings, that's fine. Just do it right. Um, I don't condone home piercings because, as you can see, there's a little red dot on my ear. And that's because when I was in 8th grade, um, I pierced my own cartilage, and it got really infected. And I had to take it out, and then that little red dot is there forever. It's never going away. So I really, really kind of regret piercing my own cartilage. And it really hurt. I, I sleep on this side of my face, and so when I did that and then I like went to bed, it would kill me because I just couldn't sleep because there was just so much pain and it was infected and I can't sleep on my left side I don't know why not advertising <laughs> um but a lot of people um so I've I have first holes and second holes and I have one cartilage piercing right now but I'm gonna have more um I definitely plan on getting my other tragus pierced and an industrial, and I'm thinking about a conch over here, but I'm not 100% sure because conches sound really painful. Um, my back itches. Um, basically, if you're going to get something pierced, use a hollow needle. Don't use a safety pin. Don't use a gun. They're so bad because it's, here's your skin, right? And here, this, my hand is my skin. And when, and this will be the safety pin or gun. Basically, when it goes through, it's pushing and separating your skin, which causes a lot more scar tissue. And for me, it was extremely, extremely hard to stretch my ears because uh, when I was in third grade, I got my ears pierced at Claire's with a gun. And that's really not the way to go. Like, it's fast, it's easy, you know. Um, and the little cleaner they give you is actually not very good for your ear. Um, what you want to use when you're cleaning a piercing is sea salt. Um, you can get it, I don't have it in here right now, in the jar. But you can get it at, like, Dollar Tree or Walmart or something. Just regular, like, cooking sea salt. Don't get anything fancy because you're just going to wind up spending a bunch of money. I have a big giant, it's like this big and like that big around. And it's like filled with sea salt and I only got it for a dollar. So you don't need to spend a lot of money to take care of your piercing. You just have to spend time. And it's like, I can't change. I'm not supposed to take this out until sometime like the first week of April because you have to leave it in for like eight weeks before you take it out and change it and I bought all these like little tragus things online and I almost changed it the other day I was almost a fuck ass and changed it I will get them because they are really pretty and I want to show you and 
I'm going to show you what I got my friend for her birthday. Jessica. She was in a previous video. Alright, here's what I got her for her birthday. It's an industrial, you know. She has this... Oh, that really hurt! Oh my god, ow. Okay, so she has her industrial done, so she'll wear it like that, or she can turn it around, you know. These little ends come off, and you can change them. Adjust camera? Yeah. I tried to find one without a skull on it, and I did, but it, well, I'm really close, and I did, but it read a, had a really ugly, like, heart with wings, and I didn't want that for her, so I just, like, basically let her pick her own jewelry, and I bought these online, and I don't see people wearing these on their traguses, so I'm gonna do it, um, it's a big, giant peridot gem, so it'll sit, like, right there, and you'll be able to see it a mile away. What I don't think I'm going to enjoy is how I have to get it off, because this spins, and it's by the little ball that you have to do it, and that's going to drive me insane. Um, but back to piercings, um, oh, there's a star, and the tiniest bird in creation. You can't even, like, really see it because my camera sucks. But yeah, there's those. Um, but yeah, basically, all you need is, like, to really take care of your piercing is sea salt. And when I was doing research about tragus piercings, uh, a lot of people were bashing them because they're hard to clean. And honestly, uh, if you try and find a better way to clean it, you will, because that's what I did. Um, another thing, online, I was reading that some people were getting infections in their piercings, and a big thing was they were letting someone pierce them who wasn't wearing gloves, even though it was a professional. Honestly, if they're a professional, they're going to be wearing gloves. Because they don't want to get anything in there that is going to make your life terrible. So if someone's trying to pierce you and they're not wearing gloves, do not let them pierce you. It's common sense. Come on, really? And another thing, um, if you're going to pierce yourself at home with a safety pin, I hope you have the worst scar tissue ever. Like, there's some people that pierce their septum with a safety pin and to me it just looks painful like I kind of want a septum but I don't think I'm ever gonna get it cuz I'm like terrified of something pinching me right there and like oh it drives me insane um hmm. awkward dead silence um yeah and you know if you're like oh I'm a badass that's fine totally go do whatever floats your boat I'm just letting you know how to clean it and like what you should be doing. Um, I don't want any hate on this video, I'm just trying to educate people because there's a lot of people that like have problems cleaning their traguses and a lot of people soak them but then like half your head winds up like soaked in salty water and it sucks. So basically what you're going to need is sea salt, I have some in a little baggie, um, about a cup of water, I have a little more already just because I kind of use a little more salt than what I'm supposed to and you're gonna need a fourth of a teaspoon can you read that one fourth fourth of a teaspoon and just what you're gonna do oh and a little plastic bottle like this like um I kept henna in this for a while when I went through my little henna stage but yeah it's just a little bottle and you can just make it and store whatever is left over. Oh. And you're going to need a little bowl or a towel to catch the water. Um. Where was I? What was I saying? I totally forgot what I was saying. Distraction. Um. Mine, I kept henna in it. And I washed it out really good. And I didn't use soap to wash it, I used sea salt to wash it. And I know that sounds weird. But if you're cleaning gauges or any piercing in general, you're going to want to use sea salt. And, oh, I guess I can't look. But it's, um, 
it's a saline solution um, and it's basically just really diluted salt with sea salt and water and I use warm water just because it relaxes my skin and it feels nice but um that little uh but yeah back to what I said earlier I had my first holes done with a gun and I had my second holes done with a gun. You can't even see my second holes because I'm basically letting them close up and I'm going to get them redone with a hollow needle. And plus the dumb, excuse me, I'm not trying to bash Claire's, but this woman was a fucking bitch. She was so rude and she was like, I've been piercing for five years or something like that. And I was like, okay, I trust you. Oh, you're falling again. And she fucked up my piercing. Like... They go, the front of them is fine, but they go in at like an angle. So it's like the backs hit my gauges and I can't wear any earrings in them. I'm like furious with this woman. But I signed a waiver. I made a dumb mistake. Um, I've made piercing mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. And that was one of mine. And another thing, I wish I had told her to do my tragus more in. So I could wear other cute little things. I mean... It's so far out that it's just going to be hard to wear some things. And, you know, I'll live with it. I'll get my other one done the way I want, and then I'll be happy. You know. Um, do whatever floats your boat. I mean, I'm not trying to insult anybody. If you do your own home, home piercing and everything, and you just, you want to use a gun because it's fast, um, go right ahead. You're just going to end up with more scar tissue. Yeah. Um... And honestly, when you pierce something, uh, I don't know a lot about uh, lip piercings uh, or nose piercings. I don't know a lot about these, mainly because I haven't done any yet in my life, but I know a lot about ear piercings. Um, when you pierce your cartilage, you're going to want something. Like, my post is way longer than it needs to be. I don't know if you can see it, but it basically, like... It comes out like a couple millimeters more than it needs to, but that's just because when you pierce cartilage and it's adjusting to this metal being in it and it's healing, it's going to like expand and come back down. And for a while, it's not going to look right. I mean, mine looks kind of weird right now, honestly, because here's this tragus or cartilage and then here's this one. And it, it looks weird. It's going to look weird, but it will go back down and it will heal. You just have to give it time. Um, people that get a piercing and then take it out two weeks later because they don't like how it looks drive me insane. It's like you have to give it time. This is a really long video. Um, I'm going to try to keep it under 15 minutes. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, but I will make another video for this. It'll be like a part two. And because a lot of people, I was talking to people online and people wanted this video anyways. But we're just going to go over the cleaning. Actually, we'll do the cleaning next time. But that's what you'll need. Um, I made this bowl in my ceramics class. Um, you could use like a little condiment dish. Um, anything really would work. Or a towel just to catch the water. Um, little plastic bottle, you know screws open and I'll make the video right after this so um, one fourth teaspoon mine's metal and sea salt and a cup of water or a little more if you want to if you want your water a little more salty like I do just because I haven't cleaned my tragus for two days because I'm stupid and I forgot um, I'm gonna make my water a little more salty um, but yeah when you're cleaning like piercings use sea salt really um in the next video that i'm gonna film right after this um i will show you how to do all this i don't want my video to be too long um but you just need to give your piercings time they're not going to look pretty at the beginning oh people that have really pretty piercings waited and gave their piercing time to fully heal um and when you're piercing like your industrial your cartilage, anything, not really your lobes. Your lobes don't really matter because they, they're, they're regular skin. I'll talk in the next video about the difference between skin and cartilage. Um, you want your post to be a little longer than what you need just because it's going to expand. Um, that's
that's all I have to say in this video. This video is really long. Um, I will make another video right after this and maybe upload it. Maybe upload it like a couple days later. I don't know. But thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye.